transforming in the image of Jesus Christ. We usually hear from people that we should not try to be like someone else. We should, we should be our individual self. Everyone is unique in themselves. Let's not try to even copy anyone, you know, but be our original self. But when we read the word of God, it says that, uh, or we see that we need to transfer back to the image of Jesus Christ. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 part A says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. So every human being made is made in the image of God. Okay? Then again in 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18 part A we see that and we all with unveiled face beholding the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. So what do we understand from this? We have been hearing from the world that we should not imitate others, we should not try to be like others. And I believe even when it comes to the spiritual uh, side of things or the spiritual aspect of things, it's usually said that everyone has their own originality. So let's not try to copy any human being. But again, the word says, that we are to be transformed in the image of Jesus Christ. When we read these two verses of uh, Genesis chapter 1 and 2 Corinthians chapter 3, when we read two, these two verses, we get to know that there is something very unique that the Lord is trying to tell us here. We are going to see both of them uh, very carefully. Or, uh, three points in fact we will be looking into. Okay. To see what exactly you understand the first thing that we need to understand is we are made in the image of uh, image of God himself so when God was creating mankind he just did not create a, a random figure he created mankind in his own image that's the first thing that we need to first realize or first come into that understanding that we are not made in a random imagination that the Lord had. No. He made us in His own image. The way exactly He was, He made us that way. The second point that we need to look into or introspect is the characteristic traits that we, pro that we portray or that we possess. Jesus dwelt among us so that we can have someone always to compare ourselves with. We have our standards, a very human standard or a human level of keeping our standards. But God has kept his own son to be our ultimate standard. We are not to idolize any human being or anything on earth. But the only thing that we need to look up to or move forward towards is Jesus Christ himself. As we read in uh, uh, Romans 4.20 and John 1 verse 14, which says that Jesus, were, Jesus was the, uh, the perfect God, uh, perfect glory of God, or Jesus uh, was the perfect form of God's glory. If the way our life we live today, if the way our life we live today or the testimony that we carry isn't yet in the perfect image of God, we still have a long way to go. Every single day, the way we live, the way we carry ourselves, the way we talk to people, the way, uh, you know, the way we behave or uh, the way, uh, you know, we are um, acting while we are even away from the world, even in our personal lives. If when we look at ourselves, we are not close to how Jesus was while he was on earth. We are yet to travel a long way in transforming in the image of Jesus Christ. The third point that we need to look into is 
we are not growing towards the image of Jesus Christ. We are boiling down into the image of God Himself. Since our birth, as we saw the first point, we are made in the image of God. But from our birth itself, as we have spent more and more time in the worldly things, we accumulate a lot of things. When you wash a child, when you give bath to a baby, you are not exactly adding some good things into the baby. You are washing away the dirt that the child might have accumulated in the time duration. The same way it is even in a spiritual being. We are eliminating the things that we have accumulated in due course of time. Let's understand that the more or with every day walk with God, God reveals to us what things in us are additives from the world that we need to get rid of. The more we keep walking in the Lord, He keeps revealing unto us what are the things that we have added onto our lives from the world which is not from God. Transforming into the image of God is the most perfect thing that can happen to us. But it doesn't mean we become a saint. It just means that we become someone without anything corrupt in us. Now people have this misconception that if you are looking to transform yourself in the image of Christ, you become that holy person who isn't talking much, who isn't too uh, playful or joyful or you know fun-loving. No. Our Jesus was not a boring God. He enjoyed his life as well. Whenever he wanted to pray, he used to climb a mountain. He used to go on, top, go, go on a mountain top. Climbing up a mountain, what is it called? It's called trekking. So if you are someone who loves climbing mountains or enjoying life that way, that does not mean that God does not like it. Let's understand the greater depths. God loves the things that you would love from your heart. But let's not do anything which will ruin our testimony or which will ruin the image of God through our lives. Friends, let's understand that transforming into the image of God does not mean that you give away your complete self. No, it means whatever in you is not from God, God asks you to get rid of them and still retain the beautiful fun loving part in you. God bless you all and may the Holy Spirit help every single one of you in transforming into the image of Jesus Christ. God bless you.